What's going on, everybody? Just when you thought I wasn't going to post anything about trim cards, fake PSA slabs, and fake autos, and all the rest, we got something. We got one. So, everybody understands what Heritage is an auction house, okay? And, man, this is really, really, really bad, too. Um... I'm taking it that most of these two cards I'm going to show, and I'm trying to really gather my thoughts on this. I think that these cards here have been trimmed for a while, and they're, the people that are doing this sent them to Heritage because they couldn't get them into Golden and probably like Probstein or maybe PWCC and stuff. Um... Whew. It's just, it, it's really, really bad on to this. Let me, let me pull this up so we, you guys can see what I'm looking at here. I'll scroll this over. There we go. So up first, these, this is Heritage. This is their last uh, cat or, or catalog auction. Numerous trim cards can signed by UFDAH that had clear and convincing before and after photos indicating the cards were altered. We're going to show you. So this is the first card up the bat. LeBron James, SPX, Rookie Auto. Oh, and it's serial numbered out of 750. So we're just going to keep going down here. So this is the Probstein auction on this one. It was a mint nine. You can see the serial number. And I'm going to look. I just want to see here. Where's this one at? That's a little bit later on. Okay, 288 now. So, because we're in sixes now. I just wanted to look. But when you look at this, somebody bought this from Probstein. Notice serial number 412 right there. Out of 750. I'm going to link the article too. This is all from Blowout, guys. All from Blowout. Forums. These guys are awesome at what they do. We just got to get it out there to everybody else. So if you look here, this is what you want to look at. So you go across here, one, two, three, a little over three, right? Come down here. You're like, well, I'm not understanding what it is. You could really even start telling right here, one, two, and you don't even have a full diamond. You can go, or you go one, two, three, and then part of one, right? You can just tell. Look at that first diamond cut right there. This is, well, I should go to the second one. It's kind of big, kind of smaller here. So we'll go down here, and they blew it up so people can actually see. See this triangle right here, in that first diamond, and come over here, it's smaller. It is. It's the same serial number, two, 412. 412. Somebody trimmed a card. You can tell also by the spacing. Look how flush this is in their holder versus how this is not flush. There's a gap there. So that's the easiest way you can tell. You have to really pay attention to this netting kind of piece here. This first piece right here is bigger, small. You can tell where this is a full diamond here, and now this is not a full diamond. The biggest thing I'm going to tell anybody is going to the National, because I'm really worried a lot of this stuff's going to be floating around out there. If you are in doubt and you see spacing, this space right here in the holder, stay away from it for right now until you can prove it's a real card. Up and down, it does not grammatically fit. Left and right, it doesn't either, but here it didn't really as much either. But you can tell here it's snug in the holder. But... Be careful that you buy. If you don't feel good about it, don't buy it. Remember, when I look at anything out there, whether it's great or not, and it's a good and a bad philosophy to have, I look at it, that card is fake. I need to prove it's real. And that's what I've always done now. And you can see here they kind of did a little flickering thing. If you look mostly right here, you'll see a difference between the two. All right, so that's one card. Let's move on. Curry Classics Rookie out of four ninety nine. dollars 
All right, let's take a look here. They're showing the top where it's been trimmed at. Now, this was a raw card originally. Look at the star gap here. Look how big that is. Look how big that's not. Now, the key point to this is going to be the back more than anything when we get to it. Card number two out of 499, card two out of 499. PSA holder, non PSA holder. They're saying the top was, I believe, trimmed a little bit. Kind of harder to tell. Where I look at the most onto this is when I'm looking at these stars. Notice here, bigger gap than here. If you'd flip this around and be on the right hand side, which would be this side, those stars, this stars. So if we come down below this, you can see a difference between it right there flashing. You guys are do these guys do great stuff, man. Great stuff. So another one to be on the lookout for. You guys see cards that look like this, and you like, oh, I can't remember. Just start looking at the videos. You'll fit, find them on there. But this is, the, I think the title is going to be like fake Le, or trim LeBron and trim Curry, depending on how many characters I can get in there, rookie cards. But it's a shame. You know, these, these are nice cards to begin with. Just because they got a nine, they get a nine. You got people out there altering it just so they can get a lot more money out of it. And I, this guy also said there was something about a Drew Brees contenders rookie. I need to see if I could find it in the football section. If there is and I could find it, I'll post a video up onto it. I looked earlier and couldn't find it. But, you know, it's probably there. I just probably did some kind of bad search onto it. But, yeah. That's everything you guys need to know. The link... For this, again, will be in the description if you guys want to read and look through all the comments and see this stuff up close and personal on your computer, you can. Be careful what you buy. I mean, my biggest thing is mostly when I go out there anymore, this was trimmed left to right. But when they start doing top and bottoms on stuff and I see this big gap up here, now I'm not saying they trimmed the top on this. But if I saw a card that wasn't sitting in here right top to bottom, I start thinking it might not be fake. But I, I'm the person that's not going to take that chance because next thing you know, I buy it. Now, great thing with PSA, if it's proven that it's fake, they will buy it back for what I paid for it or current market value from my understanding. If I was the grader of this card and I bought it raw, I'm just done. Even though I made it through PSA's hands, they might maybe give me my money back for grading. That might be about it. But all right, everybody. Figured I'd throw these out there since uh, I know everybody likes seeing these. I know it kind of depresses some people and stuff like that with the kind of like the bad news bears kind of stuff. But I want to make sure this stuff's out there, especially if you're going to the National this year. You're on a hunt for a Curry or LeBron. You pick this up. Heck, you might be sitting there watching a deal between two people like, hey, wait a minute, that card has been trimmed. You'd be like, people are like, what are you talking about? But like, I can show you right here. You click on the video, go to the link, show them this whole write-up. Maybe it'll help somebody out, save them some money. I don't know. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. I'll catch you on next video.